ancient megalithic sites. Steeped in mystery and controversy, megalithic sites to this day fantastically enigmatic are found and still unfound all over Earth, often referred to as the remnants of civilizations that once flourished but are now extinct, lost, or have been absorbed by invading cultures. Much of the verbal history tied into these sites go back centuries, in some cases thousands of years before what is accepted in current academia. Modern archaeologists have agreed on certain dates in our historical timeline that in some cases conflict with the verbal histories passed down to the actual inhabitants of their respective lands and cultures. Is the entire paradigm of modern archaeology completely wrong? Well, in short, yes and no. Yes, because as we have seen throughout written history, paradigms come and go. At one point, a geocentric existence was thought to be reality. Currently, a heliocentric existence is accepted as that fact. This is just one example, and clearly not archaeological, but the philosophy remains throughout every discipline. One can only go as far as the data shows, and that is why modern archaeology is not technically wrong as well. They can only go as far and reach conclusions based on the evidence currently at hand. Is the scientific method infallible? Obviously not, for there are numerous variables that can dictate outcomes. Are all current methods static and never changing? Though it may appear as that at times, it was actually not too long ago when the now accepted methods of archaeology were actually formed. It was not until the late 19th century that a more stringent and scientific method was developed by Sir Williams Matthew Flinders Petrie. With his excavations of the Giza pyramids and subsequent lesser known pyramids all along the River Nile, before Petri, archaeology was done less methodically and more of how treasure hunters perform their methods. So Petri has shown us that our methods in the not too distant past were becoming outdated and needed reform. And thus the modern method was born. If one follows patterns throughout academia, one pattern stands out. Paradigms change. With time, people change and how they see the world. Thus how one interacts changes as well. It will only be a matter of time as we gather more data that accepted timelines get altered or completely rewritten. For the last couple centuries, civilization was thought to be roughly 6,000 years old. Based on evidence collected, all signs pointed to that. But something happened, not long ago, that has single-handedly shown us how much we are yet to uncover. Gobekli Tepe to the uninitiated, this site may not seem special. Nothing we really haven't seen before. Giant stones placed in circles, large megaliths carved and purposely placed in patterns, similar to sites uncovered and found in other parts of the world. So at first glance, one may think, hmm, interesting, but nothing too fancy. Some old civilization cut, carved, and moved extremely heavy stones and then methodically placed and aligned these creations. Impressive, but really nothing we have not seen our ancestors create before, in at least the last 6,000 years. But then one may begin to dig a little deeper. With modern carbon dating techniques, Gobekli Tepe has been dated to be at least 10,000 years old, if not older. Essentially, shattering the accepted timeline of when we believe civilization started. This shows us we have only just begun to uncover the true history of humanity. What is known and accepted as fact will change. The only certainty in learning and life is change. Any of even the most legendary and tourist popular locations are only but a small fraction of the sites that actually excavated in reality. And these are the known sites. It is highly possible, if not probable, that the number of sites yet to be discovered could easily be double that to the number of discovered sites. Showing us how incomprehensibly large planet Earth really is.
The Maya culture is thought to have abandoned their cities 1,100 years ago, and in that short amount of time, compared to what we believe to be the lifetime of this planet, the Earth swallowed up the remains of their society. Just back in the 1960s, the University of Pennsylvania was in charge of uncovering the great city of Tikal. This is how we see it now. This is how it looked only some 50 years ago, showing us how fast Mother Earth can devour a civilization, making it almost impossible to find again. We have not found every culture yet. We have not found every ancient city yet. Planet Earth is mind-blowingly large, and Gobekli Tepe is proof we have only just scratched the surface of the true history of civilization and humanity. We are told stories of an ancient civilization thriving and flourishing long before ours. Many cultures refer to these people living in a time before a great flood, strung through many myths, legends, religions, and cultures are tales of a great deluge. A flood that wiped out a civilization that predates our own, sown through our history, prehistory, and written history. Science now tells us our sea levels have changed over Earth's life, subsequently raising or lowering depending on numerous variables, essentially rhyming the stories passed down through the ages. Many, if not most, spoke of advanced peoples, some almost godlike, teaching us what we need to know the maths, the sciences, philosophies, and others. This is another common thread sewn through the stories of a great deluge and a pre-Diluvian civilization, fallen from greatness and giving their knowledge to the next advanced denizen, designated to be the next stewards of Earth. Many of these megalithic sites may be the last remnants of this ancient lost culture. Enigmatic and controversial, clearly all questions have not been answered completely or sufficiently. There are many places and people that are still buried, kept protected for us to uncover one day. There is still much for us to learn and places like Gobekli Tepe are grabbing us by our shoulders and violently shaking us saying, look, you have only begun to uncover your history. <laughs>